Uh, I feel like I missed something. Yes, save. Like right here. It says peak is control. Huh. Well. No, seriously. I want to know how to access that file. I picked up a file. I know I did. I picked up a file. I want to know. I want to read it. I want to read it. <clears throat> tab left, tab right. I don't get that. Tabbing left, right. I don't get that. No! Yeah, you can stare defiantly all you want. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Stay away from that. Thank you very much. like that steam coming out of the pots. <coughs> Bossable, you're kind of a wreck. wet over there. I'm afraid. Space flight control for you lounge. Take a look over here. Uh-huh. <coughs> what do we have to say here? <coughs> <coughs> right, Pierre? File corrupted. Alright, that good. Decommissioning. Engineering team, decommission. So boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Spossible by now, and I can confirm it's official. Spossible being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement. For now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with the skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Wicks. Chief. I guess that's about it, huh? Can I go this way? Why is there that language there? Is that Japanese or is that Chinese? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Are we all accounted for? <coughs> you should have jumped. Pierre, you should have told me to jump. Instead, you just stared defiantly at me. Uh, any way to... Uh, uh, nope, no going back, no going back. 
Oh, hey, look, a flare. This will help. Press Q. Interesting. Fine. You want to go outside? We'll go outside. But then we're coming back in here. You understand? You understand? Lick my finger. Lick my finger. Nope. You're just going to wag your tail. Okay. Alright, folks. I will be right back in a moment. Because a doggy dog wants to go pee. So, sit tight. Anywho. Yes, you. You. You've been outside. Now go lie down. So I was thinking, like... I definitely had seen... Uh, the first movie. We actually had it on VHS. We didn't have any of the other movies, though. Um, interesting. Someone new. You're, you always know Working Joe. Forgotten. Keep moving. Everyone is responsible for safety. Huh. Shh. Pierre, quiet. Told you. <coughs> and I wasn't as keen about watching. I wasn't really interested. Kid at the time, so I was kind of like, eh, whatever. Oh, but I definitely remember like that scene at the end when Ripley's going through the ship. And you got the sirens going off and mother's like, Wink, 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 wink. This ship is set to self-destruct in three minutes. Five, <coughs> four, three, two, one. Oh, look at that watch. Look at that watch. I've not seen. Stop it. Lie down. You've been outside. You had a drink of water. If you're gonna just lick your feet, you can lick your feet on the blanket or the pillow. I've not actually seen the uh, anyone here? Aliens. Until I actually bought it. I do remember seeing watching Alien 3. Pierre, stop it! Watching Alien 3, but the only things I remember when I had actually seen it as a kid was the uh, the parts with the uh, 
when the alien came and like it was snarling at Ripley at close and then it was like oh wait plot spoiler is inside of you oh come on you know what the plot spoiler is right and then at the end when the aliens chasing everybody <laughs> that was funny <coughs> on, <coughs> <coughs> on your back to Thetis toast your return with Devonsport Ride Devonsport Ride I think it's a drink of beverage kind. All of that. Smile with confidence. Regular dental checkups are vital to your health and teeth. Don't put them off. Kirchner Buck. The shotgun shell of choice. Ooh. Uh, okay. Here at Seekson, we understand that science and technology need to work with in harmony with society. There are many exciting discoveries and opportunities out on the horizon, but we believe that before we set off into the wild blue yonder, we should concentrate on solving these problems close to home. That's why at Siegson, every new technology research project and discovery is concerned with finding real-world applications to help families, small businesses, and local communities. We don't forget that the little details when seeing the big picture. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Siegson, tomorrow, together. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Apollo! Cup of Joes. Have you got a Cup of Joes smile? Uh-uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, the sights is a bus pull. <coughs> Remember your stay with a limited edition print of KG-348. Blah, blah, blah. Propaganda. Security checkpoint. Tomorrow together. No. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anybody really use the map either. I want to know where my flippity flip Flippity flips are at. Ooh, welcome to the end of the line. Help! Tomorrow together, no future. This life for. for. for rapture! Graffiti! Okay, honestly, I, I do have a, this, this nit... This, this very... Pierre! Nitpicky... Nitpicky thing about graffiti. Who sells... Who sells spray paint? Cans of spray paint on this kind of a place for people to do that? That's my question. That is my question. I will save for right now. Uh-huh. You'll see a flat. It's big and black and flat. Oh, I'm supposed to push it. Look at that watch! Look at that watch! It doesn't even tell me what time it is. Ellie, come on! Oh, I got a little health damage here. Uh. <coughs> oh! <laughs> See, reading is important, Pierre. It's very important. You lick my finger? Stop wagging your tail. Just lie down, okay? Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where 